Hi, that's Will Hunter Outdoors channel, and today we got the goods. And the reason I haven't been posting lately is I had football practice, um, and I have school has obviously started. And yeah, school sucks. I don't want to do it, but football, it's a key thing in my life. It's helped me through a lot. But we're just going to dive right in to the video. And of course, um, I got hate because it's not open this time. Unlike this box was, because, you know, that box is open. Shoot. Technical difficulties. Anyways. Get the knife out. Right there. Alright. And I pray for all the victims of Harvey and Irma that have yet to come. And I just want them all to get better. Alright. What the heck? Okay. So, first off, we got the ten, $10 off your purchase for everything on that. You know, I'm not probably going to use that. And then we just got that. I, it's just a card. I don't really care about it. And, of course, we got to get that Lucky Tackle Box sticker. And it's a different color this time. Congratulations. Stinkers good, stinkers bad. Okay. Just a sponsorship. Alright. So, the first thing we're going to jump into is the Live Target. I don't know where I put it. Okay. The live target crankbait. This is a $13 bait. And it looks like three shad. I take it. And one. Like an Alabama rig, I guess. I don't know. And then we definitely got some of this. Just some um, rage swimmer. Paddle tail um, swim baits right there. Look like kind of like Kai Tech. And I don't even know. What is this thing? A four inch thread fin shad right there. Swim bait. And I'll, I don't know how I'm going to catch anything on that around here. And then we got Lunker Hunt Jerk Bait. I already got this though. I've seen this before. I've gotten that before. And then. The Mustad Feather Treble White is a red bead on the top right there with feathers on it. And then we got Good Wipes. Squeaky Clean Tush. Never never know when you're going to need that. Alright. Ooh, these might work in the river. Alright, these are Riot Baits right here. I'm going to get one out so you can at least see what it is. It is just a little crawling rotation that you can put on as a trailer, something like that. Anything you really want to. And then, put those up. We got a Mr. Twister, the original lifelike design. Catch more fish more often. You never know when you're going to need these. Just some trusty old worms, paddle tail worms with chartreuse end right there. But I'm pretty sure what color is this? Assorted. Okay, that does not mean anything. Okay, it's five inches, and I'm just gonna Texas rig this. That's all I'm gonna do with it. Or I'm just gonna put a jig head on it that I got from last month and throw it on there. Fish it like that, but but I'm pretty sure those swim baits are probably gonna do pretty good. But yeah. So then we got magazine, of course. Always have to get the magazine. Alright. I'll look through that later. But. Here's what I'm thinking. Put that box to the side. Alright. You know, I got a jerkbait right here. And then I got the mustad thing. Mustad thing. Mustad hook. That's only one, so if I get this hook out, and if I do a slam, just comment down below if you want to see a slam, I can get this off, if I can even get it open, I mean, struggles are real, but I can do that, 
Put that down. Where did I put my knife? Okay. Let's see how far those deeps actually. Alright. So it can dive down 0 to 6.5 feet. And it does. It goes in all different directions, which is good because bait fish, they never go in the same direction when they're getting chased. Unless they're already eaten and they go wherever the hell the bass swims. But yeah. Okay, yeah, that's gonna take a second. So, I'll do that later. I'll show you guys when I get that done. But, well, onto this the swim bait right here. Um, this is gonna be a hassle for me to catch a fish on because, if you know me, I am a terrible swim bait fisherman. Wow, that's just a magnet. Like, just hold it there. That's not even really held to anything. Am I supposed to tie this to that? Or am I supposed to, like, banjo minnow this or something? I don't know. Okay, might as well just read this, because I have no idea what that is. Okay. Rigging a catch. Okay, so... You stick a line through the mouth or something. Connect it to this right here. The hook. That's a weird hook, too. And it's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to swim. I'm not going to catch anything on this. I can tell you that right now. And then when you set the hook, it pops out so it doesn't ruin that. And it's just right here. Alright. Before I lose that, I need to put it back on there. Oh, shoot. I took the magnet off. That does not help. Man, this is made poorly if I already took the magnet off. Okay, I'm not I'm not trying to call anybody out. But who made this? Castatic, the original swim bait company. Man, that magnet fell off like that. I'm sorry, but that was not the greatest representation. I'm gonna put everything open. Okay. But these, I'm probably either just gonna put them on the back of a swim jig. Yeah, that's probably all I'm gonna do with these and cast it out there. Or just Texas rig it. Throw it on top weightless and see what it'll do. These, this crankbait, I'll just throw. I don't, I don't, how deep is this thing going? I don't even know. It doesn't say. Okay. Usually it says on these live target things because they're all fancy and I have no idea what anything means on these. Usually, this is another Threadfin Shad representation, just like this. This one's more realistic, though. Like, even has that flippery thing right there. And then this one, I'm going to have to take it out to show you guys. But I don't know if you can see that, but it's three Shad. One right there, one right there, and one right there. And they all just are like a group of shad swimming like a spinnerbait. Except it's not a spinnerbait. It doesn't have any spinners. But it is clear and shiny. And it rattles. So that's even better. Everything's better with rattlers in them. Alright. And with these, I'm literally just going to put them on the back of a jig and do that with them. And so I'm going to try putting the... This, this, on this, and I'll get back with you when that happens, so, alright, got it out there successfully, and yeah, I'm just on the jerk bait right here, I'm gonna set that aside, and that's basically it for the video, I'm pretty sure I just talked about these, and these are probably just gonna, oh, excuse me, probably just put a jig head on them. Swim them, or Texas rig them, and cast them around brush, and pilings like that. And we have a game that's coming Saturday at home, if you know. And we're versing Gibson on my senior night of youth football. That's going to be a hard game. They're really talented. They have good players. And I just want a good game. And that's all I really want. Just want my team to actually cooperate with each other because they 
they usually do, but it's hard for them to not yell at each other. And as a one of the main captains on my team, I just want everybody to be in peace. We have seven total captains, but we all take turns alternating because we can only have four to get to play call. And so we're all going to just be prepared and hopefully we just have a good game. Win or lose, we still come out on top. That, that came out really wrong. Win or lose, we all come out happy and proud of ourselves. I'm not going to come out happy if we lose that game, but let's just say if we beat them, that puts us tied as number one seed. And right now I'm pretty sure we're number three seed because we are. No, we're tied with number two seed with Eric Hoy West. They beat us 14-6, to six, and that was just a trash game. We played like crap. But this game that we just played, it was, I don't even know the score, something to eight. Like, we, we beat the crap out of them. I know. Corey scored once. AJ scored on a pick six. I took the handoff on defense, and then I scored two more times on offense. So that's three touchdowns for me. AJ, AJ really had to juke out people, and we all had a big game that day. Especially one of our captains, because he was kind of not doing his game, not being his person. And he really stepped up, and I'm proud of him for that. I'm just proud of our whole team. This probably is going to be a pretty long video from what usually my unboxings are. But now I'm just going to put these up. I'm probably going to go. I have practice today, of course. But anyways, guys, it's been good talking to you. I've not been here for a while because of school and stuff. But remember to like the video, subscribe. And leave your favorite part of the video, or if you want me to do a slam, I'll record the video, but there's no likelihood I'll, you know, do the thing. But anyways, I'll see you guys later, and peace!